Hello and welcome to Knife Delights. It's time for another Two for Tuesday. Hey, I invite all the other channels to get involved with this. You can just grab a couple knives and talk about them. Nothing fancy. Open tags are a great way to uh, share your knives with the whole knife community. And especially for a smaller channel, you have Two for Tuesday, you have Way Back Wednesday, you have Three for Thursday, you have Fun Knife Friday or Fixed Blade Friday. Lots of open tags out there. Just use the same uh, subject line in the uh, in your title, like Two for Tuesday, and then whatever description. Then, uh, yeah, and then hopefully that will pick up into my feed. I've already met some great channels because they participated in some of these open tags. So it's a way to get your name out there. So I just encourage everybody to participate in all of these open tags. So what we have here today, we got us a pair of old timers, a pair of sharp fingers, as a matter of fact. And this is an iconic knife. When I got into collecting here just a few years back, why, this is one of the first ones I bought. I just knew I had to have this one in my collection. So before we go any further, let's just see what the marketing department has to say about this old, old timer here. It says, introducing the Schrade Old Timer 152OT Sharp Finger, a design so iconic that it has set the standard for knife companies worldwide. This fixed blade knife boasts an unmistakable upswept blade, elevating it beyond a mere skinner. Crafted with a 3.3 inch blade made of 7CR17 high carbon stainless steel, the Sharp Finger effortlessly handles game skinning, while remaining versatile enough for everyday tasks. Since time immemorial, the old-timer sharp finger by Schrade has been an indispensable part of every hunting and fishing enthusiast knife collection. Its reliable grip handle and rust-proof uh, blade thrive in the harshest condition that hunters and fishermen brave regularly. For added security during wet condition, a lanyard hole near the handle's base ensures a firm grip on the knife. Right there, lanyard hole. The Sharp Fingers smaller 3.3 inch blade, in contrast to larger, unwieldy hunting knives, has propelled its popularity. Its adaptability and versatility have won over users seeking a multifaceted tool. So, isn't that terrific? That's a good description of this knife, I think. I think, uh, I think the marketing department uh, got it pretty accurate there. Um, laying next to it then is the uh, 152OTL or large. So the, uh, this one has the same blade steel, 7CR17 MOV, stainless steel. Um, they're both full tang construction, as you can see. And of course, this one has a much larger blade to it. Uh, this weighs six ounce, uh, This weighs six ounces, and this weighs a little over around three ounces or so. And oh, I did not get the blade length on this one, but the overall length is eight point six inches. Now, in handling these two, you can see the the blade on the large is much wider. It's not necessarily a whole lot longer, somewhat longer. To me, the big difference is the handle size. So if you have really large hands, this is going to be, might be a better knife for you. But it has the lanyard hole. It's basically the same, you know, saw cut Delrin handles, lanyard hole. You got these uh, great bird's eye rivets. They just really stand out. And yes, that upswept blade. <laughs> it's funny. We always argue about uh, what company's name a blade shape. On one of the knife websites, they... They called this, referred to this as a clip point. But, as you can see, it is upswept, which would be a trailing point, or one may almost say a Persian. Now, I think the Persian, the tip is supposed to be higher than back here. And I think that, I think that does meet that definition. I don't know. So, there's lots of different uh, blade names. Now, of course, obviously, these two models here are the newer 
uh, shreds. They're made in China. I would love to hear down in the comments below of anyone that uh, grew up with one of these sharp fingers. One of the old USA made shreds. Or the, your dad or grandpa had one. They were very popular knives. And I know they were always reasonably priced. But uh, we'll just look at this. You can see the difference in the uh, blade width. And the difference in the handle length. So I wear a large to extra large glove. And the small one here, the what I would call the regular or the traditional sharp finger, I can get a good four finger grip on it. Of course you got that nice thumb ramp right there. And the way this comes down, it serves as a guard. So, yeah, very maneuverable. Easy to pinch up on. And then, of course, with this one, with my four fingers, I've got a little extra left over here. So this could be used for little larger hunting tasks. I tell you what, as a hunter or fisherman, <laughs> for skinning and cleaning game and processing the meat... I would almost think if you had both of these knives, you'd be set. You would be set. Now, before I go any further, I want to throw this out here. And you're going to say, well, Tom, this is two for Tuesday. What's this third knife doing here? Well, this is a Buck 371 Stockman. Um, the, it's a Chinese-made Stockman. But I'll tell you, the one I have, I've used it. It's still a pretty fine knife. So, the channel has gotten over 1,750 subs, and I've had one video that's went over 10,000 views. So, in celebration of that, one of my lucky viewers and subscribers is going gonna, is gonna to win this little gem here. I don't have the particulars yet, but I'm not going to list it as a giveaway. Oh, no. I want to, uh, it'll be... In a video, there's not going to be any big giveaway in the title or anything like that. But in one of my upcoming videos, I will put out the rules on what I want you to do in order to make an entry into winning this. Just a little way for me to uh, say thanks to everybody that supported me. Uh, it's a simple giveaway this time, but, uh, you know, I, I've been very fortunate. Things are going along, so... Maybe here in a few months I'll be up to 2000 and uh, I want to start, you know, building a, a nice giveaway package for 2000 But this is just a little something for in the meantime. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this look at these. Let's take a look at the sheaths. They're a, a fairly decent sheath. I did notice this one. This one was really tight on the small one when I bought it. And I really struggled to get it to, to close. And then it, the leather did crack there a little bit. But I tell you what, I didn't have any of this. And this is some conditioner made by Last Chance Knives. And he sent to me. And uh, I'm going to condition these sheaths right now while I have them out. So tell me again. Do you have any good stories, any childhood memories, memories of your father or grandfather with a sharp finger? I'd love to hear about them in the comments. Yeah. All right. Until next time, have a very delightful day.